Howdy friends, Tadis here with Insomniac Next Door. I have a curious and fun story for you today with happy ending. And uh, I like to dig uh, often uh, much deeper than some people care to. I came across an interesting case which I would like to share it with you, especially uh, if you have been trying to uh, answer your question why have your low B12 levels or you're unable to supplement and restore your iron deficiency. So here we go. So there's this elderly lady, a senior lady, comes in to a doctor's office. She's from Ethiopia. She's 76 years old. She says, look, docs, I'm not feeling well. I'm, I'm weak, I'm run down. I have this prickling sensation in my hands, finger, you know, and my feet as well. Um, what's going on? What, what, what can you do? What, help me out. Does they run a blood test and they're looking at her iron and B12 levels that are considerably lower than uh, her previous tests a few months ago. Um, she didn't have any strange, you know, gut issues or uh, unusual bowels and uh, bowel movements, and so they're like, okay, well, uh, you know, they clearly already, you know, want to rule out a parasite, so they do a, um, a stool test, and they find nothing. It's unrevealing, so they make her swallow this tube, endoscopy, you know. And they kind of go 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 as deep as they can, and they again find nothing. Um, colonoscopy also, you know, up the other end, nothing. So they're like, okay, nothing, not, nothing yet. But there's one. La These are very thorough doctors, right? I mean, most of them just give up on this first, you know, blood test. Nothing wrong with you, Arrivederci. These guys are really testing her. So they're like, okay, let's make you swallow a capsule which is like a cas capsule endoscopy, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, not like the tube, you actually swallow it, and there's like a camera and everything. It has a battery. <laughs> it's, like a, uh, it's like a little, you know, spaceship that goes into your body. And it goes much uh, deeper. So, and uh, they make her swallow it, and like, they're like going down to, uh, to her duendum. And lo and behold, what do they see? They see a big ass worm just sitting there, you know? And these can range, I read, like 1 to 15 meters inside humans, which is, you know, <laughs> crazy. And they're saying, look, lady, I don't, I don't, we don't know how to tell you, but you have, a, you have an invited, uninvited guest inside of you, which is pretty huge. I'm sure that freaked her out. So they're like, okay, no, 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 no drama. You know, they give her this uh, presequential uh, drug, which is a single oral dose. They repeat the stool culture in one month. She shows no evidence of tapeworm infection. And at the following three months, her hemoglobin uh, iron levels and her B12 is back to, to normal. So she reports feeling fine, complete resolution of her symptoms, which is pretty interesting right um, the appearance on the capsule, capsule endoscopy indicated this uh, Diphylobothrium latum which is a tapeworm likely parasite this tapeworm is acquired ingesting undercooked or raw fish now, we don't really eat sushi anymore right uh, or I don't know about you were here in Lithuania or like put salt and raw fish and <laughs> Sometimes we, we sprinkle it with lemon and we eat it in like a day or two. Plenty of ways uh, to get infected. And uh, of course, they, in here it says, of course, right? Infections most common in Northern Europe, huh? And also in Africa. As it grows, this tapeworm develops chain segments and can reach up to 1 to 15 meters in humans. It resides in small intestines. Most patients are asymptomatic or have moderate, uh, non non-specific symptoms. Meaning, there's like a little bit of discomfort here and there. Nothing, nothing too crazy. You know, some pain, maybe a diarrhea here and there. Um, so, but apparently, this guy can sit there, and they love iron and they love B12, among other nutrients. So they consume basically the phrase is your parasite eats first. And that's exactly what happens because the food gets absorbed in the, an iron and B12 in the duendum, in the small intestine. And this research paper says that about 40% of people infected with this uh, 
uh, parasite will have uh, B12 uh, uh, and iron deficiency, anemia. So this is very much unusual cause, right? Uh, but uh, I love unusual causes. I'm all about unusual causes because in, in many of us do have these parasites. I'm, I'm following so many holistic uh, doctors and they're saying, look, we all have parasites in some form or another. Maybe, you know, it's most of the time they're um, synergetic with our bodies. We're coexistent. We're everything fine. But many times they do overwhelm our detox pathways or, or you know, so-called drainage and overloads our uh, which signals and nutrient deficiencies our bodies and so on. So it's, uh, it's worth uh, checking it out in case you are... Uh, suspecting B12 uh, deficiency and you haven't been able to uh, address it. So this is something bring, to bring up to your doctor. And the duendum is basically just right here below the stomach, you know. So I mean, it's, 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 that's what amazes me, that a, a, a living creature this long can live so close to our stomach. But if you are expecting like parasites or any sort of toxicity, feel free to check out my report that I did, a detailed guide on how to resolve chronic insomnia, gut issues, uh, fatigue, liver issues with uh, addressing toxicity and total body burden. I put the link in the, in the bottom of this uh, video. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Be well and get rid of all the critters if you can. Bye.